So we're back here in our second Nuzlocke run attempt. Our first run got ended by Whitney's mill tank in gym number three. I really didn't know what I was getting into. I'm not someone who's memorized everything there is to know about this game. I haven't even memorized the typing chart, but I played Pokemon when I was a kid, so we're trying to play a Pokemon challenge mode. This is run number two. I think we have a better team to begin with. We just cleared gym number one. We have uh, Totodile uh, for our starter Pokemon who's level 11. Gregly is uh, Ghastly. Uh, Baloo is a Geodude. Gumpy is Metapod. And Sentret is Sentret. Uh, Dwayne Jr. is another Geodude. We'll probably replace him on the team with something else. And Sentret we will probably replace on the team with something else as well. Uh, if we find something super appealing. It's just like the pure normal type Pokemon. They don't... They just don't help you that much, you know what I mean? Like, uh, we'd rather have something with some, uh, interesting typing that, you know, can give us some advantages in fights. Uh, let me double check. We were fully healed. Yeah, we're all good to go. Uh, I think there's a rival battle coming up when I try to exit this town. I don't remember where all the rival battles are. Okay, maybe not. Route 36. Have we been here before? He is blocking the way to Goldenrod City. No, I don't believe we've been past the town. So we should be able to catch a Pokemon in Route 36. We haven't used our one catch per uh, area yet in this run. Uh, I didn't explain at the start. A Nuzlocke run is a uh, community made like challenge mode and you know some people will use different rules for it uh oh wait he's hard stone oh this is the npc that gives me the hard stone okay so nuzlocke run is uh you know, like a challenge mode you can do different rules for it if you want the rules we're going by which are kind of like some of the main rules um are number one the main like thing is if a pokemon ever faints you cannot revive it. It's dead forever. Can't play with it anymore. Uh, another rule we're doing is the first wild Pokemon we encounter in any area is the only one we're allowed to capture. And if I accidentally knock it out, too bad. Don't get to capture one in that area or it gets away or whatever. And then third rule is you cannot over level the next gym leader's highest level Pokemon. So the highest level Pokemon in gym number two is level 16. So we won't be allowed to level any of our Pokemon above level 16 before entering that gym. Now we could try to capture a random Pokemon here, but I think later in the game, I will be able to engage this pseudo Wudo. So maybe we should actually like intentionally save our wild, our capture for Route 36 because we haven't used it yet. Uh, I think we will do that. I should actually write that down so I don't forget that I've not done a capture. Where's my little notebook in uh, Route 36? Here we go. Um. Oh, you know what? You know what's actually a better way to do this? <laughs> Instead of writing down zones that I haven't captured something in. So I should write down the zones that I have captured something in. Uh, let's refer to the map real quick. Uh, pack. No, no, no. Pokey gear. What? I don't have the map. Why doesn't my character have the map? What did I skip? All right, well, we're writing down Route 36. Still can capture. Okay. Ruins of Alf. Wait, what the hell? This isn't where I normally wait. I'm I'm confused as to where we are. Can I exit this town, Violet City, to the south? I think we can exit this town to the south. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is where I meant to go. We're not gonna go into Runes of Elf yet. 
Oh, and we should get, let's see, pack, hard stone. Where's the hard stone? We just got one. We should give it to our Geo dude. Give the blue. Hard stone. We just talked to that NPC and he gave me the hard stone. Boosts up damage of rock type attacks. Okay, Route 32. This goes to Ruins of Alf East Entrance. What is this? Route 32, Violet City to Azalea Town. Yep. All right. Who's up first in our lineup? Centret level eight. That's who we want to be getting some experience on. Wait up. What's the hurry? Some guy wearing glasses was looking for you. See for yourself. He's waiting for you at the Pokemon Center. Oh. Uh, okay. I guess we have to do that quest. Uh, I did not remember about that. Oh, did he... This was the guy that was trying to give me an egg, and my PC was full. Or my, my, uh, roster was full. Let's, let's deposit Geodude. Now we should be able to talk to him. Take the Pokemon egg, sure. That a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. You're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when that egg hatches. So... I'm gonna put it back into the PC? But I still don't have the map. I, I don't know how it is that I skipped the map. We, in our last run, this egg hatched into a Togepi, which I decided was a shit Pokemon and I didn't want it. What's this guy doing? Guy named Bill made the Pokemon PC storage system. Oh, okay, that's all he's got to say, huh? What do you have to say? It was around three years ago. Team Rocket was up to no good with Pokemon. But justice prevailed. A young kid broke him up. That's gonna be me. Okay, now we should be able to pass through. Yeah, but our Poke Gear doesn't have... Look, it has... <laughs> it, the map option should be between those two options there. And we somehow managed to skip getting the map. <laughs> Souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass-type moves. Miracle Seed. Okay, Pog. Miracle Seed. We don't have any grass-type Pokemon. Or grass-type attackers. All right, this is Route 32, so if we encounter a Pokemon here, yep, this is, this is our capture for Route 32. Bellsprout, that is a grass-type Pokemon. We will try to catch this. Even though I'm not super sure it fits into our team nicely. We'll go for it. Okay, we can do one more tackle. Better than Centret, probably. Yeah, unless it criticals here and knocks it out. Okay. I accidentally criticaled a Pokemon that I was trying to catch before. <laughs> Got it. Bellsprout. Alright. Uh, Bellsprout can be the new Jerome. How about... If it notices anything that moves, it immediately flings its vine at the object. Give a nickname to Bellsprout? Yes. Um... Jerome... 
the second. Okay, Pog. Um, let's switch him to the front of the lineup. And then we can alternate other Pokemon in so he's like continually getting XP. Haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough. Yeah, I think I'm gonna absolutely roll you, obviously. You forgot to get Geodude back in? What do you mean? No, the, the Geodude I deposited was the level 2 one that we weren't gonna level up anyways. Switch out. Go with our Metapod. Baloo is the good one. Tackling my Metapod, dude. Okay, that dealt five damage. That's more damage than I thought it would do. Uh, I'm gonna Harden. Wait, Tail Whip failed. Harden, succeed. Status moves, Pog. Tackle. No, his Tail Whip is working! So I should be back to the same amount of defense I had before. Jumpy will turn into a Butterfree eventually. And it will be good. Tail Whip, don't care. You're dead. Jerome gaining XP, Gumpy gaining XP. About to use a Zubat. Change Pokemon? Sure. Go back to Jerome. So we're basically, we're switching Jerome in all the time so he gets experience. Uh, Cause that's like how you farm up the a low level Pokemon. And I'm basically gonna abandon Sentret at this point. Go Gregly. He's low, one of our lower levels. This is my Ghastly. Super Sonic, it didn't affect Gregly. Uh, we just lick, lick Zubat a bunch of times and eventually he dies. Leech Life. Okay. What's happening? How much damage? One damage, not very effective. Gumpy gonna learn Confusion. Yeah, that's good. That's a good move. Wait, Confusion? That's the one that deals damage and can confuse, right? I remember getting uh, an enemy Kadabra dealt a lot of damage with... Oh, okay, that's a really good one. I didn't know uh, Gumpy could learn that. That's when he turns into Butterfree. Okay, that's nice. Got a paralyzed trigger off of that uh, lick. Okay, it's still attacked anyways. Lick seems like it doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh my god, it's still alive! How is it still alive? I mean, the ghost type is just so powerful because it immunes so many different uh, attacks. Drew, okay, Jerome up to level 8. Let's go. Gregly up to 10. Youngster Albert defeated. Perfect. Uh, how are our Pokemon looking? Eh, we still got a lot of life left in them. Oh, shit. Repel. Okay. I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center, like, right away. You know, we might as well fight a couple different Pokemon. Uh, drain out the health on, like, most of our team before we go back to the center. Baloo. Let's see. This is a flying type. 
Uh, we could go Gregly again, or we could go Gumpy. Let's go Gumpy. He's a little damaged. He'll probably be fine. Tackle. How much dam? Five damage with a critical hit. Uh, okay. I feel like I have to do multiple hardens. Okay, this was a bad plan. Bug versus flying? Oh, yeah, okay, that was a bad idea. If it, if it uses gust, it's not good. We just switch him out. This is a bad idea. Sand attack. Accuracy down, okay. Lick. Doesn't affect- Oh! Wait. Is Pidgey a normal type? What does this move do? Tackle was reduced by three- Oh, removes power points on the enemy's moves. <laughs> okay, so... What if I spite a bunch of times and remove all the power points of Tackle? And then I can... This is a bad idea. Let's just let's just switch into Geo Dude. <laughs> That's just this was this was a mistake. Switch into Geo Dude. One shot this Pokemon with a rock throw or whatever. Tackle for one damage. I don't have rock throw yet on Baloo. I thought I had rock throw already. Whatever. Pidgey can't hurt me. Critical hit, two-thirds of his elf. All right, good, good, good. Spread the experience far and wide there. That was just a random Pokemon. Okay, I'm going back to the trainer because now all my Pokemon are damaged. To, and by the trainer, I mean the Pokemon Center. Rattata, that's that's great. Whatever. Jerome up. Switch in Baloo. Once your, like, fresh Pokemon gets strong enough that it can actually, like, solo enemy Pokemon instead of having to switch out, like, the leveling gets way better. But when you have a really weak one, you have to do this kind of obnoxious, a little bit slow uh, leveling strategy of swapping in and out all the time. And the swapping in and out thing is annoying because you give up a round of combat each time you do that. So, like, your Pokemon in total, like, take more damage. Uh, we're... 
We're done with that now. We had a whole plan. It was, uh, we executed the plan and then it just did nothing. Not very effective. Lick again. Oh, it's living one more round. Vine Whip, don't crit. Okay. It probably wouldn't have killed me even if it crit. There we go. You play with an emulator. Yeah, I have an emulator on the PC, and it's running off of a, a USB um, cart reader. So it's off, it's off of some, you know, some official hardware, some unofficial hardware. But that's a actual factual Pokemon Crystal cartridge. I had to, before I started doing these runs, I had to replace the battery on that cartridge because uh, it was at zero. My uh, first Pokemon Crystal run, uh, we, uh, if, if Whitney wiped out my whole team. Whitney's mill tank specifically wiped out my whole team. So this is run number two. I got one of those readers after I saw it here. It's really nice. You can save onto your physical cartridge. You yeah, hang on. Hang on a second. I'm gonna screen cap that. Save. It can go in pet stone research. Please sponsor me. Um, Epilogue Gaming Company. I don't think I can put a parenthesis here. Alright. When I go and try to get myself a sponsor. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, they, um, they're developing their emulator software. It's not, like, fully juiced yet. Well, like, I don't know, they're making updates to it, whatever. Um, ooh, poison type. What is strong against poison? Enemy is poison, so I want ground or psychic. Okay, so Geodude's gonna wreck this guy. Atkins level four. That's it's not even worth my time, dude. Still use, uh, still use this guy. Uh, right. Okay, what I was stoked about was, um, they came out with a new version of the software. They have not, they said they're still working on, but haven't finished, um, integrating the Pokemon... Oh, uh, sorry, not Pokemon. The Game Boy camera into the software. What I really, really want to do is use this motherfucker as a webcam. Okay. The good old Game Boy camera. And if I can get a live feed of what the Game Boy camera sensor is seeing into my computer, then I can effectively use it as a webcam. And as soon as Epilogue Gaming gets their software to do that, oh my god, it's gonna, it is quite possibly gonna be the lowest resolution web.
nine. Nice. Jumpy going up. So Jerome's now equal to our other Pokemon. We should make sure he gets the stone thing. Miracle Seed. Powers up grass type moves. Give that to Jerome. Let's go. Got Vine Whip. That's a grass type move. Go over here. This person's a trainer. Uh-huh, yeah, and you know, pardon, battle, I'm on the phone. Oh, all right, but make it fast. Now streaming live at 32p in the most complicated way possible. What I think would be fun is what if I put on uh, a channel point reward that was like Game Boy camera cam for the next 10 minutes. And then, <laughs> then it would switch. <laughs> Oh, Nidoran, that's poison and normal typing? So I actually don't want to use a grass type. I think it's, we're back to Baloo. Baloo just wrecks everybody. Geodude's typing is just like so good against a wide variety of Pokemon. Actually, is Nidoran only a normal type, or is he normal poison? I think he's normal poison. Whatever, my Baloo doesn't even have, like, a rock-type move yet. We're just tackling and using his resistance to our advantage. And if we power up Baloo, like, as high as we can go with him... He'll probably be pretty good against Whitney. Never play these older games after playing them Kaizo style. It's so slow to play. What what about Kaizo style changes it up? Do you, do you mean my Nuzlocke rules or is Kaizo style something different? Mainly just these old games are super old and slow. Oh, oh, slow, yeah. I mean, I've been having fun with this challenge mode. It adds a lot of gravity to your decisions and like, you get into situations where it's like, I wasn't expecting this to happen and all of a sudden you're in panic mode because you're about to lose a Pokemon. Yeah, I don't have Fire Red or Leaf Green. I could definitely get those. Vine Whip. Holy moly, that was good. I think on this route, there are a bunch of fishing Pokemon trainers that'll use a bunch of water types, and Jerome will be really good against the water types. Boom. Oh, shit, okay. What do we got here? Camper Roland sent out Nidoran. Okay. Go Jerome. Uh, not Jerome on this one. Can we go Gumpy? Gumpy will just tackle it to death. I feel like Gumpy's going to get left behind. We're not finding a lot of optimal fights to use Gumpy on. This seems like a Baloo angle. attack low damage three damage critical hit <laughs> oh man i love geo dude having like a massive defense and being like resistant to normal type attacks because like early in the game like this i feel like almost every pokemon is just using normal type attacks because they don't have the low level pokemon just don't have their like special special type moves
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jerome up to level 10. Let's go. Baloo, 57 XP also. Nice. Camper Roland, get the hell out of here. Oh, I think this way... Yeah, this is the way. Yep, these are all the fishermen Pokemon uh, trainers. Pokemon freshly caught. This is also where Ralph hangs out, and we're definitely not getting Ralph's number this time. Fisher Henry wants to battle. Yep, sent out Poliwag. Yeah, well, prepare to get Vine Whipped. Jerome's gonna one-shot this Poliwag. Bubble? No, dude. No, dude. Two damage, not very effective. Oh, okay, I thought I was gonna one-shot him. I did not. Damn, almost a waste to use a low power point move like Vine Whip against just that tiny little bit of uh, health it had left. Lester of Disaster, hello! Time and change Pokemon? Nah. But now that I know it'll take at least two Vine Whips, I will, instead of doing two Vine Whips, I'll do a Growth first and then a Vine Whip so it j I don't deplete my um, Vine Whip power points. Now Vine Whip should one shot. Yeah, if the PTR had gotten updated, we'd be chilling on the PTR, you know? But I uh, did not. Have you spent some time, some, uh, some night about my suggestion about forum channels? Yeah, I think. I think maybe on the Discord I should just delete the question and answer channel or put it into the archive or whatever. So then people would go specifically, like if they have a question, they would, you know, look at where the channels are and they'd be like, oh, it's a Season of Discovery question, I'm going to ask it in the Season of Discovery channel. I think the forum function, like I'm actually not super familiar with the forum functions. What do you mean with extra? Oh, I was saying, like, creating a forum thread in the Discord, that's, like, more effort than just, than just, like, posting a text message, right? Right, because you have to go through and figure out how to make a forum poster, like, click a couple extra buttons or whatever. Magikarp? Wait a second. <laughs> He's got four Pokemon. If they're all Magikarp, I'm just gonna do a couple of growth, and then I'm gonna one-shot all of his Pokemon with Vine Whip. One more growth? I don't know, like, I think this guy has a level 15 Magikarp at the end of his lineup. I'm kind of vaguely remembering that. Alright, oh, let's start Vine Whipping. Magikarp, yup. Did you win on the Mana Drains? Yeah, we successfully Mana Drained it, but we found out Oh, uh, wait, no, I won't switch Pokemon. Uh, we found out that the Hakari Bloodkeeper summons Avatar of Hakar either when it reaches max mana or when it reaches 50% health. So there's it, there doesn't seem to be any way to actually kill the Hakari Bloodkeeper. Nope, not changing. Just farming levels on Jerome off of all these fishermen Pokemon, uh, Pokemon trainers. A level 15 Magikarp still just using Splash and doing nothing. Vine Whip, is it gonna one-shot? Yup, after using multiple growths, our super effective Vine Whip is actually still one-shotting. And that was only worth 63 experience. God. Change? No. 
It's another level 5 Magikarp. Super effective. Okay. Wait, not level up? The bar is full. Getting trolled here. Alright, so there's at least one more, but we don't have very many more power points. Sniffa's water type. Yeah, we can probably handle this. I'm pretty sure there's a Pokemon Center near the south end of this route, so I don't want to go all the way back north um, to go to the northern Pokemon Center. I think if we push on just a little bit farther south, we'll get to a Pokemon Center. Uh, the, the Ghastly is from the Sprout Tower. Sent out Goldeen. Okay. Goldeen about to do. Level 10. What if I do, like, one growth, then a vine whip? Heck, flying type? Super effective? Well, I can't risk it. We gotta swap out. Um, Gumpy, that would also be super effective. Let's just go with Sniffa. That's our main, that's our starter. Heck. Yeah, four damn. Rage. I like Rage. Doesn't do much damage at the start. Oh, oh, Rage only powers up, I think you guys told me this, when you take damage. All right, we're just gonna go back to scratch. If Goldeen's not going to be doing damaging attacks against us. Yeah, we might as well be scratching. Okay, now it uses a peck again. Awkward. After our defense was substantially lowered. Peck. That was seven damage. If the next peck criticals, never mind, the Pokemon's dead. Jerome up to 12, Sniffa up to 12. Anything good? Yeah, we still don't have a water type move on uh, Sniffa. Tried to rush things. Yeah, it's okay. Trying to not get seen by... <laughs> yep, there's a trainer. Being very careful with my movement. Uh, I don't want to level up Sentret. Maybe, maybe we should. We should just go back north and, uh, hit the Pokemon Center in the north. Any DPS charts for Gengar? Don't worry. You guys might think that I'm not going to be able to evolve Hauntar into Gengar. Uh, but I have two Game Boys and another Generation 2 Pokemon cartridge and a Link Cable, so we are going to be able to evolve, okay? I'm just gonna slap all that together and it's gonna go nice. Getting mad XP on this route, I'm loving it. Gregly's defense fell, okay, well, oh wait, no, wrong menu thing, fight, uh, Lick. Critical hit. Okay. Atkins level 4. Doesn't have very much health. Lick is a very weak move. Gengar is going to top the charts, though, for sure, once we activate Gengar. I wonder if there's a level requirement. Or if it's just like you get a Hauntar, and as soon as you can trade it, it evolves to Gengar. Do it whenever, once you get Haunter. Nice. Insta once traded. Hell yeah. Planning to make a YouTube video that shows what will likely be our Prebis in the next phase? Uh, yeah, probably, but, uh, I mean, we'll wait a little bit on the PTR, because, like, a lot of... The PTR, like, just came out, right? 
So I'll have to work a little bit on my on my spreadsheet to be able to generate that list. And we're waiting to like we expect to see more changes. And when they make changes, that kind of means like, well, uh, it, it kind of means like uh, you know, it it could change what gear is good, right? So it's a, a little senseless to like kind of put out a list and then be like, oh, version two of PTR came out, list is now invalid or whatever. Like, I don't know what's changing in the future. So we're gonna hold off a little bit more before trying to put out gearing advice videos. Oh, first patch of grass. Uh, if you wanna know what it's looking like right now, Hang on, is it gonna black screen me? No. Uh, I have a little bit in the spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, this is the pre-raid bis. It's Dark Mantle and Storm Shroud is pretty much it. Dark Mantle plus Storm Shroud is what we're currently looking at, but subject to change. Frost trying to get full armor penetration in phase four? Hell yeah, dude. Gotta get that badge of the Swarm Guard. Mmm, Vine Whip. Sure, whatever. Wait, uh, wait, Grass, ineffective against Poison? Ineffective against Poison. I just out-leveled him by 3x, so... I guess we'll Vine Whip again. We should switch into a different Pokemon as our starter, because Jerome is now one of our higher-level Pokemon. Wow, he's, uh, yeah, among the highest. Okay, let's, let's get Gumpy up first. Get some XP on that guy. Next, you're going to make a spreadsheet for Pokemon. Pokemon it might be a m more analyzed game even than World of Warcraft. I've delved a little bit into, like, the the community around Pokemon games and holy shit people analyze the hell out of this game Poke nerds are way bigger yeah like that's that that's my impression as well I think the I think the work has been done is what I'm saying. Wait, he just- wait, 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 Hopip just healed? Last I fought a Hopip, all it did was splash, which literally does nothing. It was like the Magikarp of Gen 2. That's what I called it. Yeah, okay, now it's splashing. Wait, the stream title doesn't still say that we're doing uh, some kind of secret thing, does it? Hang on, the, the screen will come back in a moment. Every time I tab out of this emulator... Yeah, okay. I was confused why Migs was typing exclamation point secret, that's all. We were... We were both successful and unsuccessful. We managed to keep the Blood Keeper at you know, sub 10% mana the entire time, but we determined that the Bloodkeeper will summon Hakkar if it gets to either full mana or 50% health. Now, this Hopip is doing no damage to my Gumpy, but it also keeps using Synthesis, and this fight is going on forever. <laughs> So, our, like, current leading idea turned out to be not achievable. And we now have to try other ideas. I think, you know, we had a couple other ideas. My, my favorite idea is... Activate the pillars before a Talarian in the order that you need to activate them in Old Sunken Temple. Uh, another idea is kill a Talarian with all of the pillars active, uh, which is definitely possible to do. Um, 
Another option is maybe the blood ceremony item is an item added to Kadamu Chosen of the Blood Loa in the Blood Moon event. Is there actually a secret thing? I mean, there's an item. Th there's no confirmation that you can actually get this item, so people are speculating. But there's an item that was previewed in Blizzard's own Phase 3 preview video. And, like, players couldn't find it in the game. It's, like, really weird that Blizzard would specifically put it in their own video of preview stuff to come in Phase 3, and that no one can find it yet. Or has found it yet, to my knowledge. Let's go for that item over there. Quick, someone... <laughs> fucking, fucking Metapod. <laughs> One damage. <laughs> Geodude's just too good. Like, I, Geodude's definitely my, like, strongest Pokemon, like, to be the starter. But, um, if I only use Geodude, I'm not gonna level up the other Pokemon, you know? Okay, I'm going to be right back just a second. I take a quick bathroom break, and then we'll have more uh, Pokemon. Wait, did I get Rock Throw and I didn't even notice it? What is he, 11 now? Oh, she is 11. Nice. Okay. I'll be right back. Got to take a bathroom break. So it should, should give you... there. There's the screen for you. All right. Yeah, Blue just went from my strongest Pokemon to even stronger, getting Rock Throw like that. <sighs> this is what we have to do, uh, what I have to do. Living with people who currently have COVID. I will not get COVID. Okay.
Okay. So much extra effort every time I leave the room. <laughs> But that's, uh, that's what it takes to stay safe, you know? That's what it takes. Alright, that's very annoying. I don't like this, that every time I tab out, it goes black screen for, like, a, a second. Alright, item. What is it? Great ball. Okay. That's good. Great ball into ball pocket. This looks like a trainer. Yeah. Let's go. Found some Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Alright. So he caught some random ass Pokemon. Youngster Joe. Youngster Gordon. Wooper. Oh, that's a, that's a water type, I think. Gumpy, who is severely damaged right now. If that's a water type, we want to use a grass type. Smart. Easy Jerome one hit KO. I think this is a water type. You know, I, I don't know. Destroyed. Absolute and complete destruction. Gumpy up to level 10. Nice. Okay. Thought I could win with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gumpy is evolving to not suck anymore. Let's go. Butterfree, level three evolution. Your Gumpy evolved into Butterfree. Okay. Gumpy learned- wait, immediately learns Confusion when it levels up? Yo, who else is on Team Gumpy now? I'm all about this Pokemon. Okay. Okay, very cool. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious Slowpoke tail? Just one million dollars. All right, hang on. Gotta heal it up first, then we'll check the stats. Mm, probably gotta teach one of my Pokemon Flash, because we're about to go into the cave. I think Bellsprout can learn Flash. Yes, I would like your old rod. Perfect. Fishing is great. If there's water, be it sea or stream, try out your rod. And we can get fish Pokemon. Alright, he had like eight attack before or nine when he was in Metapod. Now Gumpy has 15 attack. Okay, that's not very good. Uh, special attack 24, special attack, special defense 24, and we have confu- Confusion's just a super power move. Bug slash flying. Wait, Confusion is a psychic type move, though. So we not, we're not getting a same type attack bonus, but it's still, I think, a pretty strong move. Alright, let's roll this dude. You beat Faulkner? Yeah, easily. Wait, his bird Pokemon are gonna be super effective against my bug Pokemon. And normal type are resistant to... Hang on. Normal... Psychic... 
No, never mind. There's no... I thought they were resistant to psychic. I mean, I'll... <laughs> Wait. Am I just gonna get, like, rolled when it uses Peck? I don't know, screw it. Let's go one confusion, see what happens. Still feel like my health is kind of low, so I'm afraid of getting killed. Wow, that just did a lot of damage. Tackle. Okay, that's fine. Well, this has 24 power points, so I don't see any reason to not just spam it. Yeah, it could have Gust or Peck. Okay, what's next? Spiro. Uh, let me just look at my other Pokemon. Gregly. Gumpy. Gumpy's actually one of my lowest levels. We're ignoring Sentret because I'm assuming I'm going to replace Sentret on the lineup. So I'm not, like, wasting XP on leveling up Sentret. Pack, let's see the dam. Ooh. 12 dam? That means if it crits, it kills. But we were moving first, and our confusion dealt half of his health, so I'm pretty sure we're in the clear to just knock him out here. And then maybe we'll switch off of Gumpy for this guy's last Pokemon. 99 XP? Okay, that's decent. Pidgey again. Ah, uh, yes. Let's change. Let's go... Gregly. Ah, uh, we're about to get to a cave area. And in the cave, we'll be able to catch a new Pokemon. So get your new Pokemon name suggestions ready to go. Never mind. Gregly can't do shit against this Pokemon. I forgot about that. My one attack move. Let's, can we hypnosis it? Didn't affect. I think we can hypnosis. Hypnosis is just like low accuracy, so we could try a couple more times. Yeah, their hypnosis worked. Pidgey asleep. Oh, I would bring in the ringer. Fucking like blue. From the Jungle Book. Pidgey woke up and attacked the same... Okay. Rock throw. Let's go. Tackle, one damage. Nice move, idiot. Rock throw, one shot. Yup, one shot. Alright. I know what my weaknesses are. Yeah, rock type moves. All right, let's heal up one more time at the Poké Center because we're right here. Why not? And then we'll go into the cave and see if we can catch whatever the first Pokémon we encounter is, and hopefully it's also good. Man, I could put. Nah, I shouldn't put the Sentret into the PC right away. We want to come back and get the Pokemon we capture. You know, we can do that. All right, do I need Union Cape? Wait, I don't actually need to uh, use Flash to illuminate this place. Okay. Geodude number three. Uh, we're not capturing it. We already have multiple Geodudes. Uh, Agrand tweet. Hold up, hold up. Having a bit of WoW team-wide infrastructure ish issue right now, which is preventing us from pushing builds to Sod PTR. I've been working on it all day, but I'm not super confident it'll be resolved soon. Teams that are working on it are super hard on to fix it, and we'll keep doing so, but we might need to wait until tomorrow. Kind of unlucky and disappointing, but it's how it goes. Before anyone asks, no, we are not going to post PTR update notes until the PTR is down for maintenance for the update. If we post those too far ahead of the build going live, it'll likely confuse people. Yep, yep, that's true. He's... He's smart. <laughs> There's a lot of changes there, and people will expect to log in and see them, so we're going to hold on to those until we uh, get the build actually going out. Sweet. So maybe new PTR build tomorrow? Hopefully.
I suspect many of you will have plenty to do tonight even without this PTR. Is there like some holiday or sport event or something going on that most people would normally participate? Oh, Elden Ring DLC. Yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. That did just come out like, what, like 30 minutes ago or something? Alright, so unlucky. Not capturing anything in Union Cave. Because I didn't want to capture a third Geodude. Man. We gotta get... We gotta pump up Gregly and um, Gumpy. I was hoping I could make it to the water and then use my fishing pole in the cave and maybe fish out something interesting. I think I should not get one shot by this Pokemon's rock throw attack. How about, what do you guys think about that? Probably not get myself one shot by the rock throw. Rock, super effective against fire, ice, flying, and bug. So, we could go Sniffa against this guy. Yeah, Gumpy's good, but Gumpy might not be the play against a lot of rock and ground type Pokemon we'll encounter in this cave. I think we can rage this guy. He's gonna damage me quite a lot. Does Jerome got any grass moves? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could throw out Jerome and use grass moves because he has a uh, Vine Whip. Yeah, Jerome is our super effective play. Oh my god, this is the super ineffective play. I was thinking about my defenses and not about my offensives. Fucking rage. Yeah, we're bailing. We're bailing. We're <laughs> going to going to Jerome. Sniffa can't be recalled. Wait, what? Is that what Bind does? Um... I'm getting kind of low. I'm afraid if he uses, like, an actual big move, I'll die. Tackle. Wait, so if he tackled, then Rap should be worn off. And I should be... Oh, nope, it's still going. Okay, I need to use a heal move now. Wait, it activated my berry? Okay, I didn't realize I had a berry. So I'm probably still okay. Can I switch out right now? Ah, uh, to Jerome. Can't be recalled. Okay. And we keep raging. This was a bad decision to bring this Pokemon in. Oh, was released from Bind. Okay. Time to clean it up with Jerome. Easy Vine Whip. Tackle. Yeah, six damn. <laughs> Got him. Gumpy up to 11. That's my Butterfree. Jerome, 84, up to 13. Very nice. Sniffa, also gaining XP. Hiker Daniel was defeated. Alright. Let's put, uh, let's put Gregly up first. He's now our lowest level. He's another Hiker po uh, Pokemon trainer. You're headed to Azalea Town, are you? Let my Pokemon see if you are good enough to battle. 
Well, let me just swap Jerome in and roll over all your rock and ground type Pokemon. Geo, dude. Oh, come on, bro. That Gregly can solve that. That's a level four Geo, dude. There's nothing. Even with my extremely low powered lick, critical hit lick. Nice. Tackle doesn't even affect me. <laughs> he, he probably doesn't even have a, a like rock type attack that can even hurt Gregly. Tackle, yeah. He's <laughs> easy game. Level up, Gregly. Let's go. Give me a new ability. No new ability. Never mind. Use another Geo dude. Change Pokemon. Not necessary. This one is level six. Okay. Probably still doesn't have anything other than tackle to attack with. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, he's using defense curl. That's totally fine. Wait. Why did the lick do so little damage? I thought lick was a special attack, so it would use special defense. And defense curl was raising his regular defense. Did I get a crit on the first lick? Is that why it dealt so much more damage? The second lick did way less damage. Lick is a physical... Well, it says ghost on the type line when I select the ability. 109 XP. Very nice. About to use another Geodude. Is over for this guy. He's one trick pony, you know? This one's level 8. Physical damage ghost ability. Classic. Don't worry, we'll get him. He <laughs> he can't hurt me at all and we have 22 power 21 power points left on lick. We'll get there. You have no power here. <laughs> he can raise his defense all he wants. My lick is probably hitting for one damage at this point. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a defense curl? Well, that depends on how many defense curls we're talking about. Oh, Geodude was fully paralyzed, so he couldn't defense curl again on that turn. Oh, I could be hypnosising him, trying to put him to sleep. Defense won't go up anymore. Okay. So, Lick is hitting for one damage. That's, that's what I'm understanding. Maybe two damage if we're lucky. It always tilts me how you can't see the number values of the opponent's health. And you can only see the number values of your own health. You just have to, like, guess based on the number of pixels what's going on. And you have no way of, uh, like, for sure knowing, like, oh, is this a high HP Pokemon or a low HP Pokemon that the enemy is using? There we go, Gregly up to 12. Still no new moves, and it's not turning into a Haunter yet. Need to install a weak aura for that? Oh, yeah, true, true, true. Do we go back to Gumpy now? Because now... Oh, wait. Baloo is actually underleveled? That shouldn't be an issue. Oh, we'll go Gumpy up front. Still just afraid. No, there's there's a lot of, like, rock... A lot of rock and ground Pokemon around here. You don't use the Nuzzle Weak Aura pack? Nah... I think this is a Fire Breather Pokemon trainer, not a, another hiker. Yeah, Fire Breather. So he's going to have stuff that isn't rock and ground, probably. Haunter's at 25. Oh, damn. Okay. Wait. Psychic Attack is 
Oh, super effective against poison. I'm gonna one-shot him. I was about to think it was uh, ineffective. There's so many different type comparisons that I have to memorize. I definitely haven't memorized them all. What I could do is I could make a smaller version of the chart that just has, like, my Pokemon's types and then all the possible defensive types. Or I could be like, Gumpy is super effective against these types. Defensive against these types. And then it would be less data to look at every single time. Oh, okay, not quite leveling up. I flamed out. Yeah, you got two Pokemon, each of which got one shot by my Butterfree. Great Ball number two, hype. Okay, random encounter, random encounter. It is a Rattata. It's okay, we will just blast it. Get confused, idiot. Confused about why you even in uh, attacked me. Oh. Sand Shrew, ground. I should be immune to ground attacks, but weak to rock attacks with this Pokemon. And maybe I'll just one-shot it with confusion, so it won't matter. Oh, not quite. Defense, curl. Okay, you think we get it with a tackle? No, I have 19 power points left on confusion. I don't need to be conserving those power points. Gumpy up to 12? This potion, that's good. All right, this is the lower level of the cave. We go down that ladder far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival. About to put this guy out of business. Pokemaniac Larry has a slow poke. Well, I'm going to use Confusion, and I'm going to kill it. Never mind. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to switch into Baloo, who is uh, my lowest level Pokemon. Tackle for one damage. Rock throw. Mm-hmm. Yep. Critical hit rock throw. Tackle for one more damage. Lose attack missed. Water slash psychic. Oh, psychic is not effective against other psychic. Yep, okay. Gumpy XP, Baloo XP. Nice. Alright, we should shift Baloo into our starter position because it's our lowest level one. That's a good, it's a good system for making sure your team is, like, approximately equally leveled. Right? You just always use that one as your starter. And, like, if we encounter a Pokemon that, uh, you know, needs me to swap to a different one, then, yeah, I can do that. But, like, this stupid little rat could kill it with any of my Pokemon. Even Sentret could handle this Rattata. Easy. over here. A random encounter. Okay, we can go left and we can go right. We'll explore left first. Rattata level 8. 
This is the lower level of the cave. So I guess the Pokemon are slightly higher level. And you're done. Blue up to 12. Blue's pretty strong. We'll keep him in front. Ooh, 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 okay, okay. TM39. Hold on. Uh, wait, wrong menu. Swift, an attack that never misses. We also have Mud Slap and Flash. Probably give Mud Slap to our Geo Dude, I think. Yeah, why not? Booted up a TM. It contained Mud Slap. Each Mud Slap. Blue. Give it to Sniffa also. Yeah. Blue learned Mud Slap. Let's go. I don't think we want to put Swift on anyone yet. Don't have a it's a normal type attack, I guess, so it's kinda kinda whatever. Ooh, an onyx. Uh we should just switch into Jerome and one shot this. It's the easiest solution here, instead of tackling for like eight rounds in a row. Screech? Failed. Unlucky. Vine whip, you're dead. Onyx are good experience. <laughs> really funny thing that Kuja, you taught me, was that part of the experience formula of how much experience you get for defeating a Pokemon depends on the Pokemon, the enemy Pokemon's weight. So like heavier Pokemon give more experience. So like Onyx is a very heavy Pokemon, so it gives a bunch of, yeah, it's it, why would you think that the Pokemon's weight would factor into that? It doesn't make sense. This is a Wooper. It is a water Pokemon. Kind of thinking he probably might not have any water moves at level 8, so I don't care about, like, swapping out. I'm gonna use Mud Slap here. The Rock Throw was not very effective, but I know Mud Slap is a fairly weak attack power ability anyways, but, you know, maybe it doesn't have that, like, ineffective modifier, so, you know, whatever. There we go. Wooper fainted. Baloo, 59 XP. What do we got here? X defend, aka we'll sell it to a vendor for more money. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, 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 what? What's going on? What's going on? Little Geo, Geo dude. No problem. I'll send my Geo dude against this wild Geo dude. Double his level, and I have a hard stone, which makes my rock abilities do more damage. It's still not very effective. Okay, let me try. Mud Slap. That one worked. That's super effective. All right. Cave is probably a good place to farm XP, because a lot of the Pokemon... Like, Rattata isn't very heavy, but a lot of these... Oh, Zubat isn't very heavy either, but, like, Geodude, Sandshrew, and Onix all have very high weight values, so they're probably going to give me a lot of XP. That's my thought. Leech Life. I think that's going to get a super effective bonus. Nope. Never, never mind. Rock throw, one shot. Oh, fire breather trainer. Okay. If it's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. True. Sun Tzu once said, to be able to hear thunder is not the sign of good hearing. And Fire Breather, what was his name, said, When caves aren't dark, they aren't scary.
And you're done. A lot of experience there. Okay, up to 13. Oh, he only had one dude. Okay. Flash. Alright, Pokemon. Let's go back to Gumpy. Yeah, Gumpy. I was gonna switch it to Gregly instead. I hesitated. Alright, I think... Oh, that's the cave exit. We should go here, grab this item. Awakening. Okay, that revives you from sleep. Or removes sleep uh, debuff state. Or whatever. Who cares? Whatever. You know what I mean. Little Geodude. Okay. Gumpy. Confusion. So we make it out of this town. We should be on a path again where we... A new route where we can capture a new Pokemon. If we don't find anything super good before we get to Goldenrod, we can always get the Abra trade for Machop and then use Machop as our sixth Pokemon, which will be, I think, very good against Whitney. Route 33. Well, what do you got to say to me? Pant, pant. I finally got through that cave. It was much bigger than I expected. All right. There are no other fighting pokes this e early, says you. You're probably right. Most of my chat knows more about this game than I do, <laughs> which is a very different experience than streaming World of Warcraft, I will say. Usually when I'm streaming World of Warcraft, it's flipped. But when I'm streaming Pokemon, most of you guys know more about this game than I do. Little Geodude level 11. I'm a little bit afraid of that. The trainer Pokemon? I don't want to expose Gumpy to the weakness here. Let's go Jerome and let's roll him. Like, that's a high level Geodude. It might have Rock Throw that would do a lot of damage. Yep, there's a Rock Throw. That, I was at 30, I was at 31, I went down to 17, so that was 14 damage. If it critical strikes next round, it kills me. Do I have a better option here? Waters aren't weak to rock, are they? Rock? No. Yeah, we can switch, we can switch into, uh... You can switch into... Oh, Sniffa is heavily damaged. Okay, I'm gonna use a potion. Full heal Jerome. Hopefully I get through this round with enough health to be happy to do it again. That was 14. So we're again in a situation where if it crits, it kills me. That's scary. Do I have an option that doesn't expose me to that? I think going blue? The Geodude won't do much damage to it. Rock on rock, not very effective. Yeah, so this can... Uh, I can now use Mud Slap here, which should be super effective against him. And I could also use this time, because he can't do much damage to me. I could use this time to burn more potions if I want to. But I'm not sure I want to do that. Real Bot Gaming says, so hyped to see you playing Pokemon again. Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad you like it. I, I, honestly, I have a lot of fun with this. I need to work on the, like, content strategy of, like, how to make this more appealing on YouTube. You try and get the hidden trinket again. Yes. 
and we confirmed that our previous idea doesn't work. Uh, previously, we thought the Hakari Bloodkeeper would only summon Avatar of Hakar when it reaches full mana. Um, we found out that it um, it will also summon Avatar of Hakar when it reaches 50% health. So there's no way to kill it, basically. Okay, Machop, fighting type Pokemon. Fighting, super effective against normal, ice, and rock. And it is neutral effectiveness against ground. Okay, fighting, ice, and rock. It's actually ineffective against bug. Oh, yeah, let's go back to, uh, yeah, let's change Pokemon. Let's get Gumpy out here. Two hundred IQ psychic confusion move. And not very effective, buddy. Nice. Man, I had a Caterpie in the previous run, and I just didn't level it up because I thought it was a stupid Pokemon. I didn't realize how OP Butterfree was. Gumpy is trying to learn. Poison powder? Can't learn more than four moves. Delete an older move to make room for poison powder. Sure. Wow, all of these moves are so bad. Yeah, probably Harden. Well, it's... Okay, Butterfree's... I mean, getting conf Confusion is really, I think, what's super overpowered here. Confusion seems like that's what's strong. Gumpy has... Decent special attack and uh, special defense like for the level. It's at like 25 or something Like that seems pretty all right to me Where are we going azalea town? Okay, we didn't actually catch a Pokemon in route 33, so we should do that What are we getting nighttime route 33 what are we encountering it's a rat I'm not even gonna capture this Route 33, another dud. Not a Pokemon I want on my team. Maybe I should capture it in case shit goes south and I need additional Pokemon. Yeah, okay, let, let's cap it. It might break out. It's above half health. Oh. I didn't want to tackle again because... Um... Wait, I could use poison powder. Because, uh... If the tackle was a critical strike, then... It would, uh... Kill it. Wait, when I capture it, is my captured Pokemon now also going to be poisoned? And then I'm going to have to use a poison cure on it. This was a bad idea. I should have just spammed more Pokeballs. Alright, Rotata was caught. Okay. Yes. Uh... Uh, Rat Prince. Our last run had Rat King, and uh, he va he fell valiantly against uh, Whitney's Mill Tank. So uh, Rat Prince is the Rattata we have for this run. All right, Azalea Town. Yo, Team Rocket. This is the Slowpoke Cave. I remember this. I remember this place. I remember. I know what's going on here. Team Rocket is selling Slowpoke Tails for profit.
Like to know the info about the live version regarding the trinket. Ash Blue, if you have a Twitter post you can link me, I would be very interested in learning that about the uh, trinket that we've been trying to get. Uh, I feel like myself and many other people would want to know about this. June 20th. Oh, that came out literally today. Alright, well, I'm gonna screen cap that. And we're gonna give up. <laughs> Damn, bro. Okay, posted it in the Discord. Bro, what a disappointment. Uh, let's see, that's the gym. We gotta talk to the old man who... Oh, wait, no. This is a rival- This is a rival fight if I go to the left here. Are my Pokemon good to go for that? Let's not do the rival fight just yet. I'm- I'm learning from last time. Who are you? That'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Team Rocket's an evil group that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm gonna go give them a lesson in pain. Pert is on his way. All right. Okay. What's he got to say? Cut through Azalea and you'll be in Ilex Forest, but these skinny trees make it impossible to get through. Charcoal Man's Pokemon can cut down trees. Alright. We'll get the cut HM eventually. What's up here? The Mart? I don't think we need that. Let's get Gregly up front. Kurt, hey there, Simon the Second. The guard up top took off when I shouted at him, but then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back, so I can't move. I understand. I too have had back injuries. Alright, I'll avenge you, Kurt. Oh, this is the well. This is a new region. We, we it, it counts for a new region. We can cap a Pokemon in the well. I don't know if we're getting random encounters. We could use our fishing rod to the left and see what we get. Or a random cave encounter. I don't know what's a better choice for, like, what, what's going to give us better odds at finding a decent Pokemon. Okay, Gregly can't actually do anything to this... I get, I get hypnosis before I switch out. But Gregly's lick attack cannot do any damage to Rattata. Because it's a normal type Pokemon. I think, right? We've, we've done this before, right? We've done this before. My ghost move can't hurt normals. So we'll just hypnosis and then switch out and hopefully gain a little advantage on the combat here. Sniffa is our other lowest level Pokemon, so we'll go there. Really hope Sniffa gets a water move soon. Decent scratch damage.
little XP here, a little XP there. About to use another Rattata. Change Pokemon? Sure. Sniffa is somewhat damaged, so let's go into Baloo. What do you guys think? Should we go around, try to find a wild Pokemon in this cave, or should we fish at the at the water and see what comes out? I feel like we don't, you know, water's probably going to give us a water type. But we also probably don't want any of the types that would be in the cave either. Right? We already have a water starter, so that's like fine. But we already have Baloo, who's like rock and ground, which I imagine is what we would be getting from random Pokemon in the cave. I don't know, let's go for fishing. Fishing. Maybe has an actual water move. Okay. Okay, here we go. We got a bite. First random Pokemon, wild Pokemon encounter in this region. It is... <sighs> it's a fucking magic arm, dude. I don't... I don't want to do it again. The last run... The last run... We leveled a Magikarp all the way to 20. We got it to 20 right before going into Whitney. And then immediately ended the... We invested so much time in that Magikarp. Yeah, I guess we're doing it again. I guess we're going again. Wait, what did I press? Oh, I meant Pokeball. Okay, there we go. Alright, so this is Thor the second, I suppose. It broke out of the- it was paralyzed! And it still managed to break out of the Pokeball. How does that make any sense, dude? Okay, guys, it's okay. Don't get too upset. We have way more Pokeballs. It broke out twice in a row. I'm not doing another lick on the Pokemon because, um, you know, it could critical strike and kill it. There we go. There we go. Finally caught another Magikarp. Magikarp's data added to the Pokedex. Okay. Fish, this weak and pathetic Pokemon gets easily pushed along rivers when there are strong currents. Yes, nickname. T H O R R. Whoopsies, that's too many R's. Space the second. What a disaster. Team Rocket. Stop taking tails. Just try to defeat all of us. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. I don't I don't have to try. And I don't have to try very hard to defeat all of you guys. Greg Lee the third? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, we can probably just solo this with Gregly. Lick, Procking Paralysis. Leech Life. What are we getting? How much damage here? One damn. Yeah, okay, I think we'll be fine using Gregly to solo this Pokemon. And hopefully Gregly will get an attack that's actually good soon. I mean, Gregly's typing is just so strong. Makes it very good against a lot of enemy Pokemon, because they can't use normal type moves. Let's 
was dealt a total of three dam. Still hasn't been paralyzed for a single round. You aren't gonna like the next move it learns. Don't worry, when we get to Goldenrod City, I'll buy some TMs that make Gregly not suck ass, okay? Easy. Easy. No problem. Hundred and three XP, okay. About to use Ekans. Change Pokemon? Nah, it doesn't seem necessary. Lick. Poison Sting. Again, not very effective. Our move isn't... I mean, it's not ineffective. It's just a baseline, incredibly weak move. You know. Wonder if I could teach Greg Lee, like, Swift. I didn't actually check that. We should... I should... After this battle, we should go into my inventory. I'll, I'll check... We have the Swift TM. Uh, if we could teach that to Gregly, that would be great. But I have no idea if Gregly can actually learn that ability. Why would you put Swift on it? Because Lick blows Dip, and it's so bad, and I want to have an actually good ability on this Pokemon. There we go, level 13. Okay, Gregly learned Mean Look. Okay, you said I wasn't gonna like this one. I don't know what Mean Look does. Super Potion. Let's go. Cannot flee or switch. Well, that's terrible. And useless. Hmm. Sniffa is damaged already, but is currently my lowest level. Uh, let's go with Gumpy up here. Quit taking Slowpoke Tails. If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. Well, you're about to have to obey me when I beat you in a Pokemon battle. Because that's how adults solve their problems. Alright, this is where we just train confusion over and over. Just, just to run a confusion train on all this guy's Pokemon. Okay, Tackle probably finishes it off. Let's go. Why would I do that? Just confusion again. The Almighty Warrior Simonize Bison's hello. What's up? Doing some Pokemon today. About to use a Zubat. Change Pokemon? Nah, dude. Wonder if the AI can handle Mean Look plus Curse. What does Curse do? I I would guess that the AI is not very good. And you're done. Curse on a ghost type takes half your HP and puts a dot that takes one quarter of opponent's max HP every turn. Oh, wow. That's kind of weird. Ability that hurts yourself, but then over time does a bunch of damage to the enemy. Okay. I don't know if that's good, because you take a lot of upfront damage. Yeah, like, your own Pokemon has to survive.
Rocket Grunt wants to battle. He's got coughing. I think we just one shot that because Psychic's super effective against poison. Ooh, not a one shot. Guy's too high level, I guess. We outspeed him. Dunzo. Completely donezo. Dumpy gained 340. Whoa, that's a lot of XP. Dumpy is trying to learn Stun Spore. What is Stun Spore? Stun Spore is paralysis, right? String Shot. String Shot lowers accuracy. Do I want this move? String shot lowers speed. Do I actually want a paralysis move here? String shot sucks, but probably so does paralysis. Whatever. Paralysis is better. Okay, sure. Can I make Miltank be both paralysis? Paralyzed. God. Can I stack multiple debuffs on Mill Tank at once? Yeah, that that'll get one hit killed by yeah, I don't think we're using Butterfree for Mill for Mill Tank. Let's get out of here. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is all I have now. We got a lure ball. That's for catching Pokemon that are up from a fishing rod. We got a Apricorn. Okay, whatever. Take a day to make the ball come back for it later. Okay, deal. Go to the Poke Center. We got a rival fight to do, also a gym fight to do. Maybe we should level up our starter a little bit. Let's go back to the cave. Because the cave had a lot of good Pokemon in it for us to be fighting. We'll, we'll spam the cave for a little bit to get some XP, try to get a couple more levels. The gym leader's highest Pokemon is 16. And we're all 13, I believe. So we're a little under-leveled right now, I would say. And we only have five Pokemon. Whoopsies. There we go. Sentret is being neglected. Okay. Uh, do we get what did we actually get wild encounters in the slowpoke well I don't think we got any but you can get them okay we can do zubats here or we could go to the previous cave leech life Oh, got him. 46 experience. Not a level up. We'll see what types of Pokemon we get around here. Slowpoke? Okay. You can only have one status on any Pokemon. So, like, sleep... Paralysis, Burn, Poison. Those are all the, like, status debuffs. Or some of them. Confusion is another one. Um. Used Curse? Wait, what? 
but you can also do things like lower their defense, lower their speed, lower their, um, uh, lower their accuracy, whatever, their, their status, uh, stat lowering moves. I guess so there's the there's the ones that show up as a as a like they tell you the pokemon has this effect like burn That's one type of thing and then the other type of thing is like uh lowering their stats like reducing their speed. We finally got water gun at level 13. Okay. That's good. Let's get the squad up to, let's say, 14. We'll get the whole squad up to 14. Then we'll try to do rival fight and gym. Water gun for my water Pokemon. Let's go. Okay. Next gym is bug types. So we want to use fire, poison, flying, and rock moves against them. That's probably going to be Geodude the whole time. Since you're playing an older generation, what about that? I have the typing chart from uh, from Gen 1 printed out from my uh, strategy guide. Yeah, people were telling me before that my Ghastly's Lick ability... It said it was a ghost type move, but the, you you guys are saying it was dealing physical damage, which I, I didn't really understand the distinction. Like it's a what a effectively a normal type move. Oh, whoops! I was supposed to use water gun. Whatever, who cares? I'm just double scratch him. Maybe not, if that heals him for too much. No, nah, Scratch will still kill him. Yeah, my understanding is like a normal type move always uses attack and defense. And anything that's not normal uses special attack and special defense. But you're saying there are some moves that are typed to things that are not normal that will use your basic attack and basic defense rather than your special defense and special attack. And I just have to learn what those are. Scratch. Let's go. 46 XP. We seem to mostly be encountering Zubats in this cave. I think we'll probably get a better XP rate if we go to the other cave where we're encountering like Geodudes and Onyx and stuff. And we can go to the lower level of that cave also where we fought slightly higher level enemies. That should be a better um, XP farm. Physical is normal, flying, ghost, rock, ground, steel, fighting, and poison. So you're saying all of those types will use regular attack and regular defense. And the specials are fire, water, grass, electric, ice, psychic, dragon, and dark. And those will all use special attack and special defense. Okay. I'm going to... 
screen cap that. Good. Good. This is, a, this is a useful notes for me. This is why Totodile's kind of trash in this gen. Yeah, well, I mean, stream picked it, okay? They said I should pick the starter Pokemon that's in the center. Just like the last run, I started it with a pull. Should I pick left, right, or center? So you're saying Totodile is like high normal attack. We can't really use his like, his water moves like aren't that good. Alright, let's hit the Poke Center, then let's go to the other cave. And see if we can get a better rate of uh, XP farming. I think it'll be way better. Going to the lower level of the cave. Problem. Here, here's where our water gun will do some work. And our normal type attacks suck. We'll hit 14 now. That's good. One shot, easy. Super effective. 73 XP, level up, 14. Nice. Alright, who's next? Gumpy already 14, Baloo. Gregly. Gregly's gonna have trouble. So all he has is lick for damage. God, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> we might have to do a, a swap strat of swapping Gregly out. Water Pokemon. Yeah, let's let's do the swap strat and we'll level multiple Pokemon at once. We'll go to Jerome, who will one-shot this Wooper with a with a juiced-up Vine Whip. Water Gun, not very effective. Bad decision. Two damage. Vine Whip, however. Absolute destruction. Fatality. Enemy Wooper destroyed. Can't hurt it with my ghost type move. Baloo. Easy. Tail whip. Zero damage ability. Why would you ever use it? What a joke. Using it again. Didn't learn anything. Okay, my attack missed. That's awkward. My defense is probably like two now. Uh, that was three tail whips in a row. Why is my attack missing? Oh my god, Rock Throw's accuracy just seems like it's low. I don't know what to say. Oh, what? <laughs> what? 90% accuracy on that move? I don't have any status ailments that should have lowered my accuracy. What the hell's going on? I just missed three times in a row. Unlucky, I guess. Welcome to Pokemon. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Alright, the 
good Pokemon are probably right in this little area, okay? You want to hear something truly mind-blowing? Yeah, absolutely, I want to hear something truly mind-blowing. Oh, whoops, wrong ability. Whatever, you put him to sleep, who cares? Wait, can I use Mean Look with my Gregly to prevent an Abra from teleporting away? And then I could potentially catch the Wild Abra? Oh, that's good! That's actually useful! Every 100% accuracy move in this gen is technically not 100%. Yeah, that's awkward. up. Okay, okay. Geodude paralysis, paralyzed. Gregly. Okay, looking good, looking good. Going up to 14? Not quite. One more. Checking for secret items. Wait, what is this? Why can I see a cave exit up there? Alright, can't actually hurt this one. Have to swap out. Swap to Jerome. You're done. to get licked to death or we could make it real simple oh yeah yeah we can make it real simple we can just go jerome and one shot him with vine whip instead of doing eight more licks to get this to the center of the geodude pop 
Defense curl, not important. Get whipped. Super effective. Okay, Gregly should be up to 14 now. Nice. Jerome. Up, okay. So we have, what, just two more Pokemon? Baloo and Jerome. Uh, to hit 14. Then we'll do Rival, then we'll do Jim. Zubat, no problem. Jerome, get in here. Let's go. Vine Whip. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, never mind. We'll switch out to Baloo. Yeah, I'm not fighting with a confused Pokemon. Uh-uh. I ain't about that. Whose only attack is ineffective against my target. <laughs> Yeah, we're actually pretty close to done here, because look at Baloo's experience. Baloo's probably maybe levels up from this Zubat. Zubats don't give too much XP, and we're splitting two ways, but also Baloo is very close to the level up. And it's dead. 23 XP. 23 XP, dang. Not quite. Alright, I know my rival is going to have a Grass-type Pokemon. I want to use either Fire, Ice, Poison, Flying, or Bug against that for a super effective attack. Which, I don't think I have any attackers of those types. Um, We could pick instead someone who has good defense against that. That would be either Fire another grass Pokemon, a poison Pokemon, or a flying Pokemon, bug Pokemon, a dragon Pokemon. So, Gregly could be used against the uh, opposing grass Pokemon. There we go, Jerome's up to 14. Let's go switch Baloo into the front, and we can probably head out of the cave. We'll certainly get one more random encounter before we exit the cave. Yeah, there we go. And whatever this is, we'll kill it with, uh, Baloo. God damn it, it's the water Pokemon. The one we don't want to kill with- eh. Baloo will probably be fine, even if they do a super effective water gun. Right? There's no way the super effective water gun does 31 damage. You know how steel affects the type chart? No, my only type chart is from Gen 1. Which, uh... Because I know about Gen 1, I know that Steel didn't exist in Gen 1. Defense 36, attack 32. Holy. It's just a strong Pokemon. Yeah, a little whooper. Okay. Rock throw. Oh my god, it's go it's gonna ch it's gonna clap back with a water gun. Don't kill me. I'm afraid now. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Steel is weak against fire, fighting, and ground. Neutral against water, electric. Resists everything else. Wait, I gotta get myself a steel Pokemon. That seems like it has a lot of resistances. Okay. 
Steel is busted in this gen. We can get Onyx that evolves into Steelix. There might be a trade for an Onyx, actually. Wait, no, I think there is. Hang on. Pokemon Crystal Trade NPC. Pokemon Crystal in-game trades. What do we need? Bellsprout? No, dude, we can't give up Jerome. Jerome's cranking. I mean, he's probably, like... <sighs> Oof. Okay, whatever. Let's do the rival battle. Which Pokemon's up first? Baloo? It seems fine. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? You beat them? Quit lying. You're not joking? Then let's see how good you are. Okay, Bobka. Let's see how good you are, idiot. Three- bringing three Pokemon to a six Pokemon fight? Dude, idiot. Ghastly? Okay, I can use Rock Attack against him. Uh, Rock. Fighting and Ground it's weak against. Yeah, okay. Rock Throw should work fine. Gnosis, ineffective. Knocking him out. 243 experience. Okay, what do we got next? About Bayleaf? I don't even know what that is! What is a Bayleaf? Is that the evolved Chikorita? Change Pokemon, yes. Okay, that was the grass Pokemon, and I said, we were talking before about this grass weak against grass type attacks against other grass Pokemon, poison, flying, bug, or dragon. So, we're just gonna lick it to death with Gregly. I think. This is level 16. Maybe this is a bad plan. I only have 33 health on this guy. Maybe I should try to hypnosis it and put it to sleep, gain some advantage here. I don't think I'm gonna live multiple rounds against Lick. Let's go, let's open with hypnosis. Okay, never mind, didn't work. Razor Leaf, please don't kill me. I don't, I don't know what this Pokemon is. That was a lot of damage. It was 11 damage despite being not very effective. Which means if it critical strikes next time, it kills me. Did like exactly enough damage to when it critical strikes kill me. Which means now we have to be scared. What are the types we have to avoid? We have to avoid any water type. No, sorry. Uh, yeah, water type we have to avoid. Ground type we avoid. Rock type we avoid. So our only two unusables are Sniffa and Baloo. So we could go Gumpy and try to run some Psychics. And we can always swap in a Sacrificial Centrek. What does this do? Defense Rose? Let's just Confusion it. That didn't... That barely did anything. What the hell? Okay, new plan. Poison powder. Ooh. 
Razor Leaf hitting for not very effective two damage. This should be fine. How did it do 11 to my Ghastly? Oh, maybe Ghastly's special defense is way lower than Gumpy. That could be why. Because we had ineffective against both of them, but it hit for 11 on Ghastly. And it hit for like 3 on Gumpy. This poison move was a good idea, too. Adding up to a lot of damage for one, one move. Knocked out! Okay, one more Mon. What's he got? Gumpy, 240. Gregly, 240 also. About to use Zubat. <laughs> I've fought a Zubat before. Let me tell you what, I've fought lots of Zubats before. Change into, uh, Baloo. Rock throw, super effective, should be. Supersonic, doesn't affect, didn't affect. Done. Knocked out. Rival knocked out. Okay, Jim next. Baloo up to 15. Pretty good. Useless Pokemon. Listen, you. You only won because my Pokemon were weak. Okay. I hate the weak. Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I'm gonna be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket 2. He's talking big game after he just got destroyed. He didn't even knock out a single one of my Pokemon, and then he's, like, talking mad shit. Like, what the hell? Okay. So, the next gym is the Bug-type gym. Bug-type Pokemon are weak against fire, poison, flying, and rock moves. So this might be another Baloo solos the whole gym. Okay. Baloo up first right now. He is. I think they also have some flying types in there, like a Scyther I think I had to fight against. Flyings are weak against electric, ice, and rock. Yeah, okay, this is gonna be a- this is gonna be Baloo Solo's The Gym, okay? Twins? Amy and May want to battle. Sent out Lediba. Alright, well, we have 15 charges of, uh, power points of Rock Throw, so we can knock out 15 Pokemon. One damage, idiot. Destroyed. Can't Baloo's gonna get a big experience boost here. Spinarak, change Pokemon. Not necessary. Were the other types super effective against them? Poison? Flying? I don't have poison or flying or fire. Oh yeah, I forgot! Wait, hang on. I forgot we captured a Magikarp. We did that in the cave. And I totally, totally forgot about that. 
We gotta get the Magikarp from the Pokemon Center, and we can use it to farm experience. Alright, get the power points back on the rock thing. Then switch the Magikarp in. If Baloo is just gonna carry this entire gym, we might as well leech some experience on Magikarp. Carp leveling again? Yeah, I'm not a fan of it either. But we did get another carp. Deposit. Centret. Deposit. You could just not do it. Yeah, but what other Pokemon am I going to get? You know what? Fuck it. I hate that level up bullshit so much. Yeah, I could get a Scyther from the from the bug thing if I go in on Tuesday. Um, could get could get the Abra into Machop trade. The Abra into Machop trade sounds good. String shot. Unlucky. Dead. Critical hit. Should I be sharing this XP with my other Pokemon? Eh. Eh. You know. Eh, maybe. Poise oh, don't poison me. Nice, didn't get poisoned. One shot. Not even a critical strike. Baloo up to 16. Trying to learn Magnitude. Can't learn more than four moves. Hold a move to make room for Magnitude? Yes. We have some shit moves, like Defense Curl. I should have kept defense curl. What if I, I'm thinking about Whitney's? It's it's over now, but I'm trying to think what the strategy is for Whitney's mill tank. I think the strategy for Whitney's mill tank is just get that Machop and level it up. Put it to sleep or paralysis. When it's when it gets paralyzed and it um fails to execute a rollout does that cancel the like rollout chain you know what i mean because it's like the rollout like doubles in power every time okay so if it ever fails to do one for basically any reason it cancels the chain okay i was thinking if i try to just get baloo to solo the mill tank i could let baloo do a bunch of defense curls against clefairy uh, Whitney's first Pokemon. And then, you know, my defense would be super jacked up. But we don't have Defense Curl anymore, because I deleted it in favor of keeping Tackle, which is an ability I'm <laughs> almost certainly not going to use. But, like, I, I don't think I was using either of those abilities very much. Uh, can't use Magnitude. That's a ground ability, and this is a, a flying Pokemon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, Rock Throw. Really, one-trick pony defeat this gym. Have a Geodude. Use Rock Throw. 400 XP? Well, we started the gym, you know, at level 14. We are now extremely high level. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, maybe we start XP farming the other Pokemon a little bit. Ah, uh, never mind. This is a one one off. Paris, just rock throw and move on. Oh, whoops, wrong ability. Click through the menu too quickly. Now I'm paralyzed and have to use a consumable because I clicked through the menu too quickly. Kind of now remove the paralysis. I'm pretty sure I have an item that can remove that. That's all the trainers. Now it's time for the gym leader. That paralysis debuff stays. Cure for con poison, cure for confusion, cure for paralysis. There we go. Defense curl would also be nutty along with rollout as it doubles its damage. Right, I can get the rollout TM and use that myself, but it, I I I skipped past the part where thinking about if I should keep defense curl or not. Leader Bugsy wants to battle. Okay. Sent out Metapod. We had a Metapod before. It sucked. Why is his Metapod level 14? Did he force it to not evolve into Butterfree? That seems stupid. Easy. About to use Scyther? Sure. Let's, let's XP farm. Swapping into Gregly, and then swapping back to Baloo. Fury Cutter, one damage. Three damage. Rock Throw. This should do six, seven dam. Rock Throw, miss. Because if the next one does 14, doubles up on a crit, it could do 28. So we can do one more rock throw. And then we have to heal. Maybe we shouldn't have played around with this. Oh, never mind. Scyther's dead. I think it's doubly super effective because he's flying and bug. Baloo, 318 experience. Gregly 318. About to use Kakuna. Change Pokemon? Sure. Bug. We use, uh... God, we don't have any good moves. We go Gumpy. Just poison him. Doesn't affect? No, 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 that can't, that can't be right. It should say didn't affect, because doesn't affect makes it sound like it can't affect. Bug. Poison attack, super effective against bug, yes. Okay, now three times in a row. Oh. Is Kakuna like bug slash poison? That would make sense why that wasn't working very well. Yeah, that would that would make sense. Okay, let's just get this other Pokemon out here and you know. Poison sting again? Don't poison me. Nice. Decent. Not great. 
but it'll get the job done. Jumpy XP, Sniffa XP. Good stuff. Leader Bugsy was defeated. Okay. Take this badge. $1,600 for winning. Five badge. What does this do? All the badges give your Pokemon stat boosts. Uh, the, the previous one gave me attack power boost. If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle, too. Also want you to have this... Does it not do anything for me? It's got to do some passive stat bonus. Maybe they just didn't tell me. Not all of them do? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought... I thought because the first one did, I thought all the other ones would, too. Oh, shit. Our Pokemon's still poisoned. That would be Gumpy. 37. I don't think... I think we can make it to the center. 37, 36. Yeah, we, we've got plenty of steps to make it to the Poke Center. 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28... Not even close. 